The windmill was a force of nature during Kelsey Nunley Moore's time on the pitcher's mound. The Saudi Daisy Tennessee native pitched the softball catch to the 2014 Women's College World Series. Nunley got her. And in their World Series debut, Kentucky wins it. Nunley Moore was named the SEC's Pitcher of the Year in 2016 and named to the conference's first team that same season, as well as the NFCA's first team All-American lineup. Nunley Moore holds school records in nearly every pitching statistic, including appearances, innings pitched, ERA, wins, and saves. She won all 10 postseason victories for Kentucky in 2014 as the Cats rolled through the Lexington Regional, the Los Angeles Super Regional, and in the Women's College World Series 2. Nowadays, she's returned to her high school alma mater in Tennessee, serving as head coach where she first became a gleaming star on the diamond. 2022 UK Athletics Hall of Famer, Kelsey Nunley Moore. Every time. <laughs> well, first off, I don't like being last, but I'll take it. <laughs> my mom says my first word was ball. I don't remember such a thing, but I've been obsessed with one all my life. To be honest, I loved basketball the most, but God chose to give me great athletic ability playing softball. I started t-ball when I was four and softball at the age of eight. I loved playing ball in the yard, and I would tell dad, please roll it so I can dive after it. I remember him throwing sky bombs, doing tricks, catching the ball behind our backs, and just love being outside with each other, throwing a ball back and forth. One day, I asked my dad if I could pitch, and he said, yes, but only if you have a good attitude, practice, and wear a mask. I had no idea that these qualities would help me so much on the field and in life. My parents got me in private lessons shortly after, and I never looked back. My mom would be working 12-hour shifts at the hospital, supporting financially, while dad would pick me for, up from school, and we would go throw or to team practices. He would sit on the bucket and took many balls to the shins, never giving up on me or my dreams. They both supported me and made sacrifices for me to compete, just as much as the other, but in different ways. After a bad outing, dad would tell me it's all right, but mom would let me know it wasn't my best. I was hardest on myself and always strive for perfection when pitching, and I know I wouldn't be here without their support and sacrifices. I remember watching the College World Series on TV and dreamed of being the best and playing for an SEC school. I received my first letter from Florida when I was 14, and things started to get real. My so-called dreams of UT, of UT didn't happen, but coming to Kentucky was what God had planned for my life, and it's where all my dreams came true. Coach Lawson sent me personal handwritten letters during my recruiting process and never stopped pursuing me. On my unofficial visit at UK, I remember my dad asking in the parking lot if I could one day be an All-American, and Coach Lawson looked at him crazy and said, yeah, I like that. I didn't know what to think, but I knew I wanted to be great at whatever I was asked to do. At many games, my papa could be heard yelling, throw strikes. He knew, like most of us know, that pitching involves throwing balls that look like strikes. I miss him and know that he is smiling down upon this accomplishment of which my grandparents were a big part of. My years here were mentally, physically, and emotionally tough, but nothing worthwhile is easy. Those years prepared me for three seasons of professional softball, which took me around the world playing, and I was able to help my team win the MPF championship in 2018. I'm so thankful to all the people who made my opportunity of playing softball possible. From my little league coaches to my middle and high school volleyball, softball, and basketball coaches, and anyone else who helped mold me into the athlete I became. At one of my travel team games that Coach Lawson attended, we lost, 
but she saw my competitive spirit, and I'm so grateful that the University of Kentucky and softball coaching staff, Coach Lawson, Coach Himes, and Coach Johnson Belcher, took a chance on this little girl from Saudi Daisy. Thank you to the entire softball support staff, Amy Craiglow, Bree Propato, Coach Tracy, Coach D, Mr. Barnhart, the Bell family, John Crop, and so many others. I, of course, can't leave out Cody, who is now my husband. When I told him I was going to play at Kentucky, he said, that's great, and if that's what you want, go for it. I knew he really wanted me to play closer to home, but he remained supportive and encouraging throughout my years in Lexington. He drove quite a few miles over the years and helped me move a few times. One of those moves was up three flops of stairs with no elevator access. You can't call that anything more than committed. I am forever grateful to God, my family, my coaches, and teammates throughout my life who have helped me accomplish my goals and reach my dreams. I'll forever bleed blue. Thank you for this incredible honor.